Good morning, guys. It's Rochelle from Monolane Furniture in beautiful Sydney. It's a good day today. It's a very good day today. So today I'm going to be having a look at this chair. I want to paint a vinyl chair. So if you're new to the channel, this is what I do. I flip furniture full time for a living. If you want to learn how to do the same, stick around. <music> I actually picked up two of these chairs off the side of the road yesterday, so they were free. The other one is over there. Um, and I'm going to paint it in a dark, look at my girls, um, a dark colour. I'm also going to paint the feet, I'm not sure what colour yet. So it's just vinyl. It's in pretty good condition, considering I got it off the side of the road. The cushion comes out nice and easily, so fingers crossed this should be quite an easy flip. Famous last words. Let's get stuck in. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just give it a good clean. So I'm going to be using White Lightning, which I have pre-mixed in this bowl. And then I'll rinse it off with plain water. Um, I'm just going to show you here. Look. She doesn't make it easy for me. Oh, and there's the, the other one is just behind. Anyway, so I'm going to give it a good, good clean. Rinse it off with plain water. Bailey, you're going to have to move, please. Sorry, thank you. And you perhaps. Rinse it off with plain water. Wait for it to dry and then we can get stuck in. Sorry. It's quite dusty, as you would expect. From being off the side of the road. But other than that, it's really, they're in really good condition. Harper, shush please. I'm just del delivering those um, colourful drawers that I did last week. And then um, as we drove past, we were like, hey, stop. I love it when I'm driving around in my van. And I can just pick up stuff that I see. Best investment ever. I tell you what, that van is paid for itself easily so this is quite a soft pleather um, I'm not going to prime it because by priming it I'd actually be putting a barrier between um, the pleather it's not leather, it's pleather, vinyl and the paint and really what I want it to be able to do is to penetrate it ideally so that it sort of acts as a dye whether it does that or not, I don't know. Um, I'm going to be using Dixie Bell chalk paint. I haven't decided on the colour yet, but I'll tell you shortly. So Dixie Bell chalk paint is flexible, so it shouldn't crack. So I like the sound of that. It's a little scratch here. This isn't going to make it brand new, it's just going to give it a makeover, so I'm not worried about scratches too much. Ideally I'd prefer if they weren't there, but you know, they are there. So there's quite a long scratch there, but it's just on the surface, it hasn't gone through. Right, so I'm going to rinse this off with water and then I'll come back to you when it's dry and we can start painting. Right. <clears throat> it's all dry, look. Both of them just stood there watching. They're keen to learn how to paint vinyl. They're pretty cool. Right, so I've decided I am going in with Dixie Bell. What have I got here? Midnight Sky. I thought going darker would be an easy option. I'm feeling a little bit kind of lazy today, so let's do that. So it's like a dark charcoal, probably with a hint of blue in it. Oh, it's thick. You can't even see. Should I bring it down closer? Let's have a look. That's a bit better. 
girls are just gonna have to move yes nice and thick the dark charcoal so i'm just gonna be putting this on with a flat synthetic brush it's all nice and dry and i'm going straight on with it this just doesn't feel right painted fabric it's not fabric it's vinyl is vinyl fabric so this video comes with thanks to aj's vintage so check aj's vintage out on um youtube she did a, a few stools using um dixie bell paint and uh basically she taught me how to do this so thank you thank you amy from aj's vintage So it'll probably take two coats. I'm not going to use my spritzer, I don't think. It's going on quite well. Um, what I may do is give it a really, really light sand after this first one, but I'll see how it dries. And by sand, I mean um, with like a 600 grit sandpaper or even, even a brown paper bag. I can actually see this soaking in, so this is really good. This is crazy that you can do this, isn't it? Does it look like I've just woken up? It really does. The clocks went for no, they didn't. They went back last uh, night before last, and I hate that because I don't sleep well anyway. So then everyone says, "Oh, I get an extra hour in bed." I'm like, oh, "Great, an extra hour for me to lie there, not sleeping." brilliant and then all day i'm tired and it's an hour behind or whatever in front i don't know confuses me right i'm going to carry on getting this all done i'll come back when it's dry show you what it looks like i'm already loving it i'm not gonna lie i'll be back so this is one coat of paint on and i just wanted to show you how much movement it's got there's no cracking or anything you can see that it needs a second coat it literally looks just like if you were painting a piece of furniture um so you can see a little bit of the color still coming through but there's definitely no cracking so i'm gonna crack on now hey do you like that no cracking i'm gonna crack on with the second coat and i think that'll be it looking at the coverage i reckon that'll be it which is good and then I just need to seal it and at this point I'm not sure if I'm gonna use wax or hemp oil we will see right and I may find actually I'm going to I can feel that it's a little bit um, because I'm not going onto a smooth surface now uh, a shiny surface there's a little bit more um, not friction a little bit more drag so i'm probably gonna use my spritzer a bit let's just see what i don't want to do oh jeez throwing my paintbrush everywhere it's probably covered in dog hairs yeah um what i don't want to do is obviously take off what's there i don't really want to reactivate the paint underneath but i just want the um paint to glide a little smoother so a little bit of spritz will help that and obviously it'll also reduce brush strokes. It's just like painting normal furniture, just like painting wood. You want it to move freely and you don't want it to feel too thick. I'm saying this as if I know what I'm talking about. This is the first time I've done this. I just watched AJ Vintage. So I guess I'm an expert now to watching that. <laughs> no, I just, I'm just doing what I feel makes sense. When I first started it, I was thinking, I don't know if that's going to work, but it's literally like just painting normal furniture. The coverage is really good. And it's drying really nicely. I'm, I'm shocked. So this is going to be a really a nice quick flip. I might get the other one done today as well. She might get a few few videos done today. 
got a few small pieces hanging around that I might get stuck into. It's Easter Monday, hubby is playing golf. No surprises there. I'm painting. No surprises there. Right, guys. Leave me to this, I'll come back. I'm stunned. That's so good, isn't it? Right, I'll be back. Right, so I've put two coats all over it. And then I've gone round and done another coat just around all the stitched areas because there was a bit of red showing through there. Um, so, but it's a two and a half coat. So well, hopefully I'll be able to show you close up. It's moving brilliantly. There's no, um, no cracking or anything. I'm amazed. So now I'm just going to go in with Best Dang Wax in Clear. I've got a large pot of this as well. I can't find it. No surprises. Oh. Okay, I've done two coats and then I've gone back around on the stitched areas and done an extra coat. So there's two and a half coats. And the reason I did that is you could see a little bit of red sort of seeping through. Um, not seeping through, just showing through where the stitches were. So I thought it best to be safe and sorry and just go in. So it's a two and a half coat. So what I'm going to do now is wax it. Oh, look at the mess you can see in my shed. It's so organised. Um, so I'm using Dixie Belle Best Dang Wax in Clear. I've got a large pot of this somewhere. Can't find it. No surprises. So, and I'm wearing using a pair of Hubby's Undies to put it on. So any lint-free lint cloth do trick. So, just got a bit on there. And just... It's amazing what paint and wax can do so I'm gonna go around and do this everywhere then I'll come back and buff it and all you do when you buff it is taking off the excess but I don't think there's gonna be much because it's um it's pretty thirsty I can already see now that's given it a sort of a leather look I don't know if you can see it properly It's amazing. Oh well, all the furniture in my house is probably about to change colour. <laughs> Not just the wooden furniture anymore. I've already been eyeing off some fabric furniture. But now all the um, leather and pleather is probably going to get it too. This is great. So don't look, don't look past these guys if you see them on the side of the road. Grab them. So this looks white in the pot. Sorry, it's really glary today. Looks white in the pot. It dries clear. So I'm going to carry on with this. Do the whole piece, and then I'll come back and show you photos. How quick was that? Well, to put it into perspective, it's probably only about half nine in the morning. I don't know that. Yeah, no, it might not even be 9.30. It's a quick one. This is a real quick one. Oh, my word, guys. Look, I've put her... This is for us, for us to keep. So I've just put her straight where she's going to go, which is in my little cubby house at the back. Honestly, I'm I'm stunned that you can do this to fabric, <laughs> uh, to, to pleather. Look. I've gonna, given it a really quick wax. I'm probably going to give it another wax at some stage, but honestly, it hurts my arms when I'm buffing. I don't have the energy I used to have. What do you think, Harps? So simple. It's 10.30, I think, now. So this has just been a morning project. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> oh, I'm going to put this on YouTube tonight. I usually It's usually a few weeks before they go up, but what do you think, Harps? Yeah, it's good, eh? Ah. <sighs> Thanks so much for sticking with me, guys. I've really enjoyed this. I, I, you know, I enjoy. Oh, let me sit down. You know, I enjoy learning new skills. So, um, something like this is really good because that was free. So, if you want to learn, like I say, I do this full time. I flip furniture full time. If I can get it for free, fantastic. Um, I generally sell it on Facebook. If you want to learn how to do the same, just subscribe, like, comment, stick with me, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Have a great day.